Hello! Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I remember making scratch art as a kid, and I wanted to bring it back and show you how to make some unique art pieces with it. Most of the time when we did this in art class, the scratch boards came pre-made so it already had the color on the bottom and the coating on top. But for this, I want to show you the DIY method, which allows you to customize the colors and the placement on your canvas. I'll be using oil pastels for the colors. You can also use crayons, but I prefer oil pastels just because they blend a little smoother. On the drawing paper, I'm using the pastels to make a very colorful canvas. There's no right or wrong here. You could draw any shape you want. You could just put splotches of color like I am, or doodle, make swirls, anything you want. Just as long as you're covering the paper with a layer of oil pastel, because otherwise you'll be scratching the paper. Now to make the scratching surface in a separate container, mix about a nickel sized drop of liquid soap. Then add tempera paint. I found that it didn't really matter what the ratio to soap and paint was, just as long as I had that drop of soap, it makes the paint a little smoother to scratch off. After that's all mixed together, add a layer of that on top of the oil pastel. I left a little border on my paper just because I'm going to trim it later, and you just want to make an even layer of this paint. Don't worry about making the paint strokes perfect because you will be adding a second coat after this. Leave that to dry, and then add a second layer on top. You might want to brush on this coat a little heavier just to cover any streaks. Once the canvas is completely dry after that, you can start scratching. Anything with a pointed tip can do this. I'm using this awl because I have it on hand and it's comfortable to use, but you don't need an awl. You can use a thumbtack, a paper clip, anything that can scratch. For this, I decided to go with a branch leaf design. You could draw whatever you want, and it's cool to see the color reveal as you start drawing your art. I'm just giving these leaves an interesting pattern with different line directions. I think whatever you choose to draw will look really cool with the colorful background and the contrasted paint on top. And here is how it turned out. You can also use this in different ways. You don't have to have the whole canvas covered, instead you could try spots. In this case, I'm going for some abstract paint streaks and trying a different color of paint. It's the same mixture as the black and I'm just using it as a pop of color on this piece. And I decided to go with a tribal inspired feather on this one, drawing a continuous feather on all the streaks. And I think this turned out to be a cool, kind of bohemian inspired art piece. I think these make great art pieces and when they're all framed, I think they make a great gift as well. I hope you give it a try and let me know in the comments what you would draw on your own scratch art. I've had so much fun guest hosting on HGTV Handmade this month. Thank you so much for the positive response and feedback. I hope you all enjoyed the projects. If you want to see more of my DIY videos and me, I'll be at my channel Sea Lemon. You can subscribe and I'll see you there. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to HGTV Handmade. You can check out my previous video here. It was a super fun collab with all the ladies for a white tennis shoe challenge, and I'll see you later.